when I hear one point two million dollars, I hear a lot of money. <laughs> you hear like, a lot of money. It goes like crazy. But yeah. being a real estate, I'm pretty sure you've dealt with a lot of people that probably bought houses for a million dollars. Probably a lot of times. Uh huh. How easy is that to actually get when it comes to having a loan? Or not so, easy, or how hard? How hard or easy? Is it, it depends on your. It depends on your finances. So mm. if you have that, and it's not just a um, high credit score with this one. Okay. So if you of course Talk have a me. high credit Talk score, that's great. But in terms of your saving, like how much money are you able to put down on the property? Are you able to just pull out fifty k mm. for a home? If you're not able to do that, you know you you know you can't just purchase a million dollar house because your credit score is. 800 okay Mm -hmm. like if you don't have any money saved another thing that people don't look into is debt to income ratio that plays a huge role what is that debt to income ratio so basically that means the income that you make um and the debt that you have they basically compare the two so some people especially a lot of people that i work with that are first-time home buyers they have student loan debt Mm -hmm. so they're making maybe 50k their student loan is 75k so that's gonna affect what they get approved for and that's what you call debt to income ratio now you may have little debt maybe have 10k in debt and you're making 90k you know so that that would just be that debt to income ratio but it wouldn't negatively affect you because of you know how low can i just lie about my debt or no you can lie about your debt so that would help me or oh oh <laughs> i thought you meant right now. i thought you were about to give me a scenario no, I'm don't saying. lie on your debt no i mean you can't you can't really lie on because your loan officer is going to pull okay. all your information okay. so one I'm thing i will curious. say about that some people do lie about their debt and then the loan officer pulls the information and they're like uh you know what's going on you know mm. you said this and this is what the numbers are looking like so you know just be honest we're going to see it anyway so. so on average you're looking at let's say a million dollar home right um, I have a 720 credit score. Mm-hmm. I'm looking to have, I'm going to have to pull out maybe $50,000 uh-huh. in, in like cash like uh-huh. in the bank. Mm-hmm. Okay. So it, it, it depends on maybe there's an auction. Uh, it depends on what type of, maybe it's a foreclosure. Mm. It definitely will depend, but that would definitely be a question for the loan officer based on the sales type of the home. You, that they would determine how much money you have to put down for it. So, okay. Okay. Yeah. See, I learned mm-hmm. a lot in this. Yeah. It was some things that you wanted to touch on. Um, I don't know if we touched on it. I always like to extend. Yeah, the, uh, I would definitely say Prince George's County as a whole. Mm. That's um, I've lived here for a very long time. So <laughs> definitely look at Prince George's uh, County. Yeah, I love okay. I love my I love my county. So mm. I've been here. So I'm originally from New York, actually. I'm originally from New York, and then moved here when I was three years old. So I basically say this is this is it, it's, Prince yeah, George's County. Yep. So I've been living in Bowie forever. I don't plan on leaving. <laughs> I definitely invest in other places.